Easter focuses on the pinnacle moment of Earth's history, Jesus Christ's atonement, which includes His suffering for the sins of the world, His crucifixion, and resurrection. Many Israelites looked forward to this moment through the Feast of the Passover, just as we look back on it by partaking of the sacrament. Passover, Easter, and the sacrament all point to our personal deliverance through the Savior and Redeemer of the world. Now, let's look at some of the symbols that connect these three magnificent events to the Atonement of Jesus Christ. With the tenth plague to free the children of Israel, the Lord sent His destroying angel to kill the firstborn male in every home in Egypt. Except, God prepared a miracle to save those who worshiped Jehovah, so that the destroying angel would pass over their homes. First, the people had to be willing to follow the prophet to be saved even though what Moses asked them to do might have seemed kind of strange. Yet every family that obeyed Moses exactly, witnessing that they believed in Jehovah, was saved from the destroying angel. Moses' prophetic Passover instructions to save the Israelites included taking a firstborn male lamb, without blemish, as perfect as possible, and placing it on an altar. They weren't to break any of its bones, and then were to roast it through a sanctification process, just like the Lamb of God helps to sanctify us. Once prepared, the lamb was to be eaten entirely, with nothing going to waste, just as we are to receive Christ's atonement completely. He didn't sacrifice Himself needlessly, and no part of His offering should be wasted. During the last week of Christ's life, He observed a Passover feast with His apostles. As they finished eating, Jesus took bread, broke and blessed it, and administered it to the disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. He then took the cup, blessed it, and gave it to them, instructing, Drink, for this is my blood, which is shed for the remission of sins. Jesus then taught them what would now be a weekly sacrament instead of a yearly Passover. In other words, the feast in remembrance of Israel's salvation was upgraded by Jesus into the remembrance of the world's salvation through His final sacrifice. Because of this sacrifice, God will pass over the sins of all who repent. Many Jews still celebrate a symbolic Seder service today, but that final Passover day in Jerusalem, culminating in the sacrifice of the ultimate Lamb of God, ended the annual Passover celebration for followers of Christ. Today, we remember our own future deliverance as we go to a sacrament meeting instead of a sacrifice meeting and gather symbolically around the sacrament table instead of a sacrificial altar. During the sacrament service, priests bless the bread and water to be sanctified to the souls of all those who partake of them. We consume these sacramental emblems of our personal Savior, the Lamb of God, just as the Israelites partook of the Passover lamb. As we consider the white cloth covering the sacrament table, we're reminded of the cloth that covered our sacrificed Lord before He was resurrected. Along with the lamb, the Israelites were instructed by Moses to eat bitter herbs with their Passover meal, symbolizing both the bitterness of their captivity and the bitter cup that Christ would drink. Jesus is the only one who can remove the bitterness of captivity and sin. The meal also included unleavened bread. Leaven, or yeast, was considered an impurity that would allow the bread to mold or corrupt easily. But eating unleavened bread with no corruption or impurities pointed to the incorruptible bread of life, Jesus Christ. The captive Israelites then took the blood of the lamb and dipped an herb called hyssop in it to work like a brush to paint the blood of the lamb on the doorposts of their houses. Placing the Lamb's blood on the doorposts clearly identified those who worshiped Jehovah, and entire households were saved from the destroying angel. Do our homes clearly show that members living there believe in Christ? Finally, to commemorate this great miracle of God, the Passover was to be kept as a memorial feast for generations, eaten on the first full moon after the spring equinox. During these celebrations, the father of the home was to teach his family about how the great Jehovah saved them through the Passover. We likewise go to sacrament meetings to build our faith in Jehovah, 
and partake of the sacrament in remembrance of our own deliverance through Him. As you celebrate Easter, remember the symbols that point forward and backward to the greatest event in history. Next week, we continue with the exodus of the children of Israel. It takes a lot to make these videos, so to keep Line Upon Line free for everyone, consider donating. The link's in the description below. And thanks for watching. This episode is packed with info, so you might want to watch it again to make sure you didn't miss anything, including the hilarious jokes. If you feel this video has helped you on your path towards truth and Christian discipleship, please subscribe and share. Most importantly, go read the scriptures for yourself.